Hello. This is Spatial Visualization Look 1B. In this video, I will be looking at the isometric drawing tool from NCTM Illuminations and also finding minimal and maximal map plans from the three views. So the first thing we're going to look at is the NCTM Illuminations. Here we are at nctm.org, and if I hit Classroom Resources, then Illuminations and More Online Resources, and then click Illuminations, this is going to take me over to uh, a place where I can search for the many activities, and I'm going to type in Isometric, and click the Isometric Drawing Tool. Now, the good news is this is a nice tool. However, the danger of technology is that it becomes a crutch and we don't really understand what we're doing. And the exams for this class are going to be paper and pencil and there is going to be no NCTM tool available. However, I think it may be useful in the learning process. What you can do here is you can draw and you can add cubes. I think I'm just going to stack some cubes up here. Uh, that's actually going to be a problem. So let me try again here. If you don't stack these up carefully, uh, it goes kind of haywire on you. I guess it doesn't want to put a cube there. Okay, I won't put a cube there. How about up on top there? All right. So this is my building. You can, interestingly enough, rotate this about the x-axis, which is interesting. The x-axis is this axis coming out this way. You can rotate about the y-axis, or you can rotate about the vertical axis, which is the z-axis, and that may or may not be part of your objectives. We can also look at the three views and the map plan by hitting this Inspect tab. This is the 3D view, and once again, I can rotate if I want to. But if I switch to the 2D views, this is the 3D view. If I switch to the 2D view, the front view looks like this, kind of a U shape. The right hand view looks like stair steps. The top view is coming from the front and flying up on top like a helicopter looks like an L, and the map plan looks just like the top view or the base view, but with the numbers put in there. Three high, two high, one, one, and two high. So I think the isometric drawing tool from NCTM Illuminations is a good interactive app, however, it's doing most of the work for you and you may not fully understand. So you've got to get in with some dot paper and get dirty and practice on your own. Now I'd like you to download the minimal and maximal handout. Uh, it'll probably be easier to read on your handout. So please print it out. In this particular situation, I have the right hand view shown, I have the front view shown, and this is the base view or the top view. We're supposed to find the number of cubes needed to construct a minimal building, and we're supposed to find the number of cubes needed to construct a maximal building. 
and make a map plan for each. So we're going to go ahead and take these base views and put the numbers in it, and it'll become a map plan. So if we analyze this, if I look at my front view from left to right, I see that we have four across, and that's four across here, one, two, three, four. So that's good. On this right-hand side, I have only one high, so that means that this has to be a one right here. That's locked in, no options. On the left-hand side, it's two high, and I only have one square here in this position, which means this needs to be a two, and that's locked in. If I look at this second column here, in the front view, I have a three here, three high. So somewhere in this column, I need to have a three. So I'm going to indicate that here with a three. There needs to be a three here as the maximal value. In a similar manner, in this column, I have to have a two. So there needs to be a, a two somewhere in this column. Now, if I come over to this right-hand view, this is when I'm looking for this from this right-hand side, I have one, two, three, four positions. One, two, three, four. There's only one high here, and there's only one possible position for that cube. It's right here. So this is going to be a one, and that's locked in. If I come to this position, the second position from the right, on the right view, I have three cubes high, which means this needs to be a three, and that's locked in. Now when I come here, this means that in this particular row here, there needs to be a two. So there's gonna have to be a two here or here. And in this position here, I need to have a two somewhere in this particular row. So to achieve these conditions, the minimum is going to need to put a two in this position. So minimally, this is going to be a two. Now, I believe by using these numbers, I have satisfied all my conditions. Two, three, two, 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 three, one. Since I'm looking for a minimal mat plan up here, I can fill in ones in the other positions. And now we can total up our number of cubes, and we get. 12 cubes. Now I'm going to go for the maximal map plan. The maximal map plan can have twos in all of these positions. And that's still going to satisfy my conditions to satisfy the front view and the right view. And this particular maximal plan has 15 cubes. Now let's move down to building V. And let's get started on this one. If we look at this front view, on the left hand side, I have only one cube high. That's going to correspond to a one here and here. On the right hand side, I have two cubes high which means I'm going to have a two over here and a two here in my maximal. In these three center positions, I need to have a two somewhere in this column. I need to have a two somewhere in this column. And I need to have a three somewhere in this column so that I have these three high. 
In a similar manner, if we look at this right hand figure, on the far right hand side of the right hand view, I have only one cube high, which means this needs to be a one. I don't have any choices there. Now I need to figure out the maximum number I need in this row, this row, and this row using the right-hand view. I think I'm going to stop the video now and let you think about that and analyze that. See if you can come up with an answer for the minimal mat plan and the maximal mat plan, scan it, and put it in our discussion area. Have a great day.